YouTube, what's up? This your man, Big B Production 100. I got a great tip for you guys tonight. In this short tip, I'm about to show you guys a quick way of how you can clear out some of your website data and history and all that good stuff that's clogged up your web browser. Now, if you use Safari like me, most people may not know this, but when you clear out your history, as far as clear history, and when you go up to Safari and you clear out your cache, most people think they're all good. And that speeds up your web browsing, you know, a little bit. But it's something else that you can do to even speed it up a lot more. Now, if you haven't been using Safari, like I said, like me, you may have noticed that if you go to, let's just say, YouTube a lot, and you play a lot of content, because I know I'm on YouTube daily, and I play a lot of videos. And over time, this stuff can clutter your web browser, as far as a Safari, you know. And I'm going to show you. Now, we're playing a little video here. We stopped that. I'm going to play something else for you just clicking on some random stuff to just build it up a little bit so I can show you all right I got all my volume turned down so you can't hear it right now but <sighs> all right just clicking on some stuff random videos just to show you that how this stuff can build up over time now we're going to go to some websites Mac world we're just going to click on some images pop some stuff up okay and we're gonna go to Mac rumors. Now let's just say if you're doing this every day, I mean you're going to Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, whatever it is you're doing, uh, Apple website. Alright, back to YouTube. We're gonna play another video. Alright. Enlarge that video. I mean you're doing all this stuff all day long. Now you can find yourself doing this every day, and the only thing you do is clear out your history. And only thing you do is clear out your cache. No, that don't take care of everything. Let me show you what I mean. What you want to do is, after you clear out your history, hold on. First, let me show you. You can go to preferences. Then right here where it says cookies and other website data. Remove all website data. That's 55 websites stored in cookies or other data that you used in that day. Now, we just clicked on a couple of videos and a couple of web pages I'm gonna do it again to show you how that 55 will jump to a higher number we're gonna do it again Apple click on some videos cool all right Let's see if we can get that to play all right cool we got it planned we checking out the new app book all right the new app books or whatever that they have for the iPad all right, we're going to go back to YouTube. We're going to play another video. All right. Fighting the elephant. Cool YouTuber. Make great videos, by the way. All right, we're going to click on another video. Whatever well, video right there got a lot of dislikes. Okay. And now we're going to go to Mac Rumors again. We're going to click on the image. Okay, there we go. Now we're going to go back to home. Now we're going to go check that out again. This time we're going to use a command. The command is going to be command, comma. Okay, there we go. Okay, right now it still says 55 websites stored. So what you want to do is you want to remove all websites data. It's going to ask you, are you sure you want to remove all data stored by the websites on your computer? Remove now. Okay, cool. We just removed all that. And it quickly jumped to two websites. Just that fast. Now after you perform that, you want to go to history, clear history, now you want to go to safari, now you want to empty out your cache. Now that that's done, we're going to go back to YouTube and we're going to see if that number will jump for us this time. It didn't really jump too much, I mean, well, it didn't actually jump at all. You know what? We're going to close this down. We're going to close safari down. I'm going to open it up again for you just to see if we can get that number to jump for us real quick. Okay, cool. Resume took us right back to Rick Ross' video. All right, that's plan. Fast forward a little bit. All right, we're gonna click on another video by Rick Ross. Okay, we got an advertisement plan. All right, let's go to Apple again. All right, click on the video. Right, let's plan. Now we're gonna go back to home. Now we're gonna go back to Safari preferences. 
Okay, cool. There we go. 10 website store cookies or other data. Details. You can click on details and it'll show you everything you have inside there. Google, YouTube, and some other good stuff. Again, remove all website data. Remove. Now, you can do this on a day-to-day -day basis. You can do this all day long. And just keep in mind, when you do this, you're not going to do anything but help your browsing activity on the web as far as within Safari. That's not going to affect Google Chrome or Firefox or any other web browser or whatever or, you know, that you use on your Mac. But it will help for Safari because I know it was once upon a time when I was looking at videos on YouTube and I'm like, wow, you know, the YouTube page was kind of acting up or whatever. You know, I was trying to play a video and um, I can click on play. And I mean, it would take a while for the video to start playing. So I'm like, wow, what is it? You know, I tried some everything, cleared out my history and all that. But then still, it was like going real slow. So what I did was I opened up Google Chrome and Firefox to see if, you know, it was going to act up the same way. And it didn't. So I called Apple, talked to one of the reps or whatever, through Apple and everything. And this is actually before I started working with Apple. So I called in and, you know, they told me, I talked to them and one of the ladies, uh, she was a senior rep. And she told me what I can do and, uh, you know, she helped me and guided me through the steps. And it helped me out a lot. So now that I'm working for Apple, uh, I've been at Apple for quite a while now. I'm just trying to spread a little love, you know, and help other people out there. So uh, this is your man, Big B Productions 100. I sure hope you guys found this video very informative. Uh, I hope I was able to help some of you guys that's out there. And uh, hopefully you won't have the problem that I was having in the past. But uh, hey, I'll let you.